starts off fast as the tag team titles are on the line. A rematch from last week when Skull and Bones won the Unified Tag Team Championships from Skyscrapers 2.0. Steam and Jimmy Freeman and the great Ryan Lynch and JT, they're enacting their rematch clause pretty quick because here at Impact Zone Wrestling, if you don't enact your rematch clause right away, it may not happen for you. <laughs> You'd be SOL. And I think it's pretty smart of the, of the Skyscrapers 2.0 to enact that rematch. Think about it. Hawaiian Lion never got his one-on-one -on -one rematch against Triple X Lawrence Tyler. 602 Wrecking Crew never got the rematch against Native Blood. Native Blood never got the rematch What's against this? the Skyscrapers. Skyscrapers just, uh, Steve Jimmy Freeman just lifted. He got him off his feet. <laughs> he just follows up with a right hand on the side of the face, taking him right to his back. The size difference. Lifts him to the outside and hit that guardrail on the way down. Nice little souvenir from the outside right there. Oh yeah, Dread Pirate Bernie's probably bigger than both of his opponents are. <laughs> Ryan Lynch had that yes, great out. Ryan right Lynch. across the ring. Clotheslining Miracle Mike James, follows it up by kicking Dread Pirate Bernie outside of the ring. Jimmy Freeman looks like he's got his win back now. Now he's going to follow up and fly on his own. He flies over the top rope, almost didn't make it. And Bernie just catches him on the outside. This is not look good for Jimmy Freeman. Looks like it's hot potato time with Steam and Jimmy Freeman. Now just dropping him over on the floor onto it. I'm not even sure what's down there, but you think he dropped him into a puddle, JT. It's a miracle Mike James lost the dreads right there. It's like shiny blonde hair right here. Yeah, changing his style up a little bit. He is a brand new champion. You know, had a couple photo shoots last week from what we understand. It's funny what the championship belt does to people. Oh yeah. Captain Morgan's been calling them for endorsement deals and everything, JT. These guys are on top of the world right they now. Don't call me. I don't believe you're a pirate who just won tag team titles, JT. Well, for someone to call me, it's this absolute or great news or something. Yeah, Destiny doesn't even return your phone calls at this point, JT. We all know that. Hey, Stomping his chest. Quite you. <laughs> she didn't fare too well earlier against Erica Dierre yeah. on her challenge. Miracle Mike James now stopping the proverbial mud hole into Steve and Jimmy Freeman. Referee getting a little frustrated in this match right here. Yeah, well, I mean, again, a, a, a big attitude out of both of these teams. Mike James now taking a page out of Frankie Kazarian's book. That assisted double stomp to the chest. Flying off the ropes now. Gets the cover. Only two for Miracle Mike James. Jimmy Freeman still got a lot of gas left in the tank. Able to kick out. They want those titles back through the skyscrapers. Well, of course. You take something away from someone, especially something as precious as tag team gold. Yeah, you're going to want it back. And you don't know anything about wrestling. I totally understand why they want it back, JT. And Skyscraper is one of the few teams to have a successful defense here in 2008. As Bernie now follows up with a big elbow smash in the center of the ring. Only gets two with the great Ryan Lynch in. Bernie not happy about that development either. And the Ryan, Ryan, great Ryan Lynch wants nothing of Dread Pirate Bernie. Oh yeah, very smart now. Rolling outside of the ring. Jimmy Freeman and Ryan Lynch have been a very successful team. Since winning those titles, want to get back on top of the world. And they want a big four-way for the goals for tag team titles. They upset the three teams, sure even did. my team. 602 wrecking. That's right. They did upset them now as we see Trademark rolls across the ring. Does Dread Pirate Bernie Mike James now flying off the top of that leg drop to the center of the ring. This could do it. Only to Ryan Lynch again in the right place at the right time. Hot tag team action right here on Impulse here. Tag team situation definitely heating up. You've still got the 602 wrecking crew. You've still got Native Blood. you got more teams waiting in the wings. Like the East Coast Killers of Terra X and Dean Radford. Like El Cholo, Mike G, and Lucha Reigns, who have been very successful recently in Impact Zone Wrestling. From what I understand, Johnny Dynamite now is looking for a partner. Maybe, maybe he wants to join the tag team ranks. You know, tag team, tag team gold is pretty hot commodity in Isaac. Jimmy Freeman takes Miracle Mike James out of the corner with a power bomb as Mike was just pounding on him. I don't moment. think Jimmy Freeman knew where he was. I thought he was probably in Albuquerque or something. Tags in Ryan Lynch and goes for the cover. Only gets two. Only two. Come on. If Jimmy Freeman was able to go for the cover on his own, we might have had new champs. Come on, referee. Count faster. Come on. It's been very difficult to hang on to those tag team titles recently. Neck breaker in the middle of the ring by Ryan Lynch. I think it's diff more difficult to hold them. Oh yeah, to hold them to, to win them. Actually, you gotta win them. I mean, too many drinks. <laughs> you did miss the last altercation that we had because you were at the bar. But obviously, you saw what happened sitting at the bar. Destiny was paid of short work by Erica Dierico. Pinder, the match time officially is five seconds. The shortest match in Impact Zone Wrestling history now belongs to Erica Dierico. But back to the action at hand here. Rear chin lock by the great Ryan Lynch just trying to wear down 
Miracle Mike James looks like he's gone for the side of the nerves as well on those shoulders. This Mike James elbowing at him, he just pulls him down by the hair. Back in the center ring, Ryan Lynch definitely has these men well scouted. And they faced him several times recently. We know about their story history that they had at the January Super Show, the Unification Super Show. They wrestled each other on impulse before. Of course, on the big four-way tag team match that we had. These guys are no strangers to one another. They know each other so well. They know their moves. They feel each other out. Jordan Burn desperately won that tag. Not able to make the tag. Jimmy Freeman smartly pulls him back across the center. Of the Dropping those big bombs across the chest. Looks like going for a third one now. He's cutting that ring in half right there, Steve. Jimmy Freeman. And tagging in uh, the great Ryan Lynch right there. Oh, he should tag in the great Ryan Lynch and keep the assault going. A little bit of a new strategy by the skyscrapers. Not allowing their weight to be announced this week, JT. Of course, they've been tipping the scales at nearly 600 pounds or so, they say. This week, they're trying to keep it a secret. Maybe that's the edge they need against the Pirates here this week of Skull and Bones. Big drop kick by Miracle of Mike James in the center of the ring. That may be what he needs for a tag his big partner in the match. There needs to be a tag because I think Steve and Jimmy Freeman loses his steam. Again, Ryan Lynch, very smart, pounding on Mike James. Mike James doesn't even know where he is. Trying to tag Ryan Lynch into the match. Jimmy Freeman's given him the go-ahead to do that. Again, just pulls him over, bouncing the back of the head off of him. Stomping him in the chest with Steve and Jimmy Freeman. Four stops in the chest, trying to get back to all the stopping that Mike James did earlier in this contest. Still not able to tag him. Murray. Reminiscence of the Garvin stomp from back in the day, I tell you that. Enough stops to have a stopper, I tell you. Driving him down in the center of the mat is Demon Jimmy Freeman's definitely have a stopper in the center of the ring. Ryan Lynch coming back in again, trying to prevent him from making that tag. Referee loses a lot of control here. You gotta like what, what skyscrapers are doing here, JT. Gotta be very impressed with their strategy. In this oh, match. yeah, they're keeping Miracle Mike James away from Dread Pirate Burning because if you tag in the big guy. It, it, it could be trouble for these two, two uh, skyscraper players. Blind switch now by Ryan Lynch and Jimmy Freeman. Claiming they made the tag. It looks like Justin Freemeyer is going to let that one stand, even though it didn't really happen. Can't call if you don't see it, though, JT. It's true. Drop toe hold now, and Ryan Lynch talking trash to Mike James. He, he is definitely a house of fire flying neck breaker. <laughs> now, that did not feel good for Michael Mike James. Going for the cover. Only gets two. Still not able to gain those Hooks the leg right there. there. He hooked the leg and still not three. Losing those titles definitely made a difference to Ryan Lynch. Impression that we haven't seen out of him for a while. Mike James now driving the knee to the jaw. He hit that move last time on IZW Impulse against Ryan Lynch. Hits it again. Maybe the difference he needs to make the tag to the big man. Looks like a, an eye wreck or car wreck on the I-60. Yeah, that was, definitely took a lot out of both men now as Miracle Mike James. I think the back of his head hit the canvas again. He's taking a lot of shots in that head this week, JT. Yeah, that melon's getting crushed. I'll tell you that right now. He's suffering from a mild concussion right now. That's why I went to the wrong corner earlier. Finally able to make the tag in a Dread Pirate Bar. He's a crowd getting behind Skull and Bones here. Clotheslines for everybody. Another one. Third there on Stephen Jimmy Freeman. And a fourth clothesline dished out by the Dread Pirate. Following it up, picks him up. Big body slam in the center of the ring. That's nearly 300 pounds that he just lifted up, JT. Well, yeah, there's no trouble more than a dread, fresh Dread Pirate Bernie. Mike James trying to go up top. Ryan Lynch knocking him off now. Crashes him over the top. Now opening. breaking the eyes of Dread Pirate Bernie. This could be that opening. Diving in, they could be setting him up for that neck breaker. No way of taking down a, a giant more than double team. Hits the neck breaker there. That is their trademark finisher. Ryan Lynch getting yelled at by the referee. Jimmy Freeman just took a leg drop off the top rope. He's not in good shape. Big spear. spear to the center by Miracle Mike James. It's all chaotic right Skull here. Skull suddenly regaining control. Swinging wildly as Jimmy Freeman just missing the Dread Pirate. Now has him set up. Mike James takes him out with the, with the diamond cutter in the center of the ring. It's over. Another successful tag team title defense finally takes Man. place in 2008. Skull and Bones victorious. Retaining the Unified Tag Team Championships. They will walk out of the building once again with the IZW Tag Team titles and those NWA Arizona Tag Team.